Recently, alongside university, I've been working on releasing my first mobile game. Inspired by games like Kleptocat and Neko Etsumi, but with a larger focus on collectibles and more interesting dynamic animations. In the last episode, we talked about what I wanted the game to be. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I created my own real-world time-based anti-cheat to stop cheaters from flexing cheated progress in my game. As always, my name is Merlo, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. So, to understand how to make an effective anti-cheat, we first need to know how it is possible to cheat in the game. And to understand that, we need to start by taking a look at how the game understands the passage of time. One of the systems I have made so far is a time manager. This system is responsible for, well, managing time. It does this by requesting the current time from a server whenever the game is opened and has an internet connection. However, if the game doesn't have an internet connection, the time manager will instead request the time from the device. In this case, the device is the cheater's phone. This is done to ensure that the game always has a current time, as most of the game's mechanics depend on real-world time to operate. However, this is where the problem arises. The cheater could set the date and time on their phone to be in the future, and then open the game, reaping all of the rewards without having to wait. So, now that we understand the cheater can cheat by changing the time on their devices without an internet connection to trick the game into thinking that they have waited for their rewards, how can we stop this from happening? The simplest solution would be to just tell the player they can't play the game unless they have an internet connection. But as this game is a mobile game, I want it to be able to be played when the player is out of the house without internet connection. So that idea is going straight in the trash. It seems like the only solution would be to create an anti-cheat that keeps track of the progress made without internet connection and checks if anything funky happens with the date and time. I chose to use this system as inspiration to make a new cat Richter for my game. I want my game to have rarity levels for the cats the player can collect, and the higher the rarity, the more interesting the cat becomes. Common cats will be regular house cats with minimalistic patterns. The uncommon rarity will have more interesting fur patterns. Rare cats will have additional features like glasses or a bow tie. Legendary cats will have the same additional features but with more interesting designs and different silhouettes. And finally, the rarest rarity, Meow Thick. I won't say much about this rarity at this time, however. The cat character that I wanted to create in inspiration to the anti-cheat system fits into the legendary category, possessing a unique silhouette and design. Although the design isn't finalized, I would like to introduce to you Tempus. Tempus is a technologically advanced cat who somehow knows how to travel through time. Whenever the anti-cheat detects that the player is cheating by manipulating the device's time, Tempus will appear as a UI pop-up informing the cheater that their cheating has been detected. I think that this is a cool way to give cat characters more depth and assist with the legendary and meowthic designs. Perhaps I'll work on a teacher-themed cat that will act as a tutorial in the future. Now that we have given a cute face to the anti-cheat, how will it work? We still need to understand how to detect the time manipulation that our cheater is doing to their device. Well, to be able to detect it, we first need to be able to store it. And for that, we need a save system. Oh, hey look, here's one I prepared earlier. So, this save system has the ability to save the data that we need to store when the game isn't running. Among other things we need to store, we also have to save date and time the game was last closed. Let's use S to indicate whenever the game saves. Drawing a line, we can visualize the passage of time where the left side is the past and the right side is the future. Using this line, we can see as the player plays the game, with S saves happening every so often whenever something of note happens, like a new unlock. Then they would close the application, causing the game to do a final save. An amount of time would pass whilst the game is still closed, and then they would open the game again, and using the last save, the game would process everything that happened whilst they were away. If when the game was opened, it was able to connect to the internet and get the correct time, this would be the point where our anti-cheat would spring into action, checking if the current time that is known to be correct is greater than the time saved in the last save, meaning that everything that happened in the save happened before the current time, and is therefore legitimate. Let's say that the last save wasn't legitimate, the cheater didn't have an internet connection, and they changed the time on their device. Our anti-cheat would detect the cheating, but what's next? 
all of the saved data that we have stored is cheated. Tempus is aware that the time cheating has happened, but there is not much that can be done about it. We could erase all of the player's data and make them start over again, but that's mean, and I would rather not push away my players. Instead, we need a way to undo the cheater's ill-gotten gains. To resolve this issue, I had to implement another form of saving, known commonly as a backup. Let's use B this time, and draw a new line. This time, the player starts by playing the game normally, with an internet connection, before closing the application. Just like before, we do a final save, and wait for the game to be reopened. This time, the game is opened without an internet connection. The anti-cheat detects this, and checks if there is a backup currently saved. There isn't, so we're gonna make one. It creates a copy of the last save, and saves it as the backup. If the game would be opened without internet connection again, it would detect the backup, therefore not making a new one. At this period of time, if the player isn't connected to the internet, they are using a cheated date and time. When they close the game, we once again do a last save, before the game is once again opened with an internet connection. Our anti-cheat springs into action again, and this time it's aware that there is a backup file. It checks if the last save is somehow in the future, and if it is, Tempus and the anti-cheat are aware of the cheating, and will do a rollback to the backup save, before deleting both the last save and the backup. A UI pop-up of Tempus appears to inform the player that he has detected something strange happening with the passage of time, and that the game has rolled back. This way, nothing that the player got legitimately is erased, but they are still unable to cheat anything in. And that's how it works. I hope that you enjoyed this video about the time management and anti-cheat of my indie mobile game about cats. I'm still very new to content creation, and I would really appreciate any feedback or comments. Please consider helping me with the YouTube algorithm by leaving both a like and comment on this video. The double interaction really helps the visibility of this video. Subscribe if you're interested, and most importantly, I've been Merlo and have a wonderful day.